How to extract copper from malachite in the laboratory. Higher content by kscience.com. This diagram represents malachite, and malachite is a copper carbonate ore which can be easily recognized by its characteristic green color. To extract the copper from the malachite in a laboratory, we need a Bunsen burner. A boiling tube containing the malachite is placed over the Bunsen burner where the copper carbonate is heated. The copper carbonate thermally decomposes to form copper oxide, CuO, and carbon dioxide gas which escapes from the boiling tube. The green copper carbonate changes to a black copper oxide. The word equation for this chemical reaction is copper carbonate reacts to form copper oxide and carbon dioxide. Because heat is used to break down the copper carbonate, this is an example of thermal decomposition. Once we've obtained our copper oxide, we then use a beaker and sulfuric acid and we have our copper oxide and we then add the sulfuric acid and copper oxide to this beaker. The sulfuric acid and copper oxide react to form copper sulfate solution where at the bottom of the beaker we have copper oxide settling out as this is the excess copper oxide which has been added to ensure all the sulfuric acid has reacted. So the sulfuric acid reacts completely to form this blue solution of copper sulfate, CuSO4, AQ for aqueous. It's important to wear safety goggles as these safety goggles protect the eyes as harmful chemicals are used here. To separate the excess copper oxide from the copper sulfate solution, we use filtration. Filtration needs a conical flask, a filter funnel and filter paper. Where we have our conical flask, the filter funnel is placed inside the conical flask and the filter paper is placed inside the filter funnel. The excess copper oxide is trapped in the filter paper and this is the residue and the copper sulfate solution flows into the conical flask and this is the filtrate. We now have pure copper sulfate solution. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. The next stage is to use electrolysis, where we now want to separate the copper from the copper sulfate solution. These are the graphite electrodes, and this is the copper sulfate electrolyte, which is CuSO4 AQ for aqueous. The copper sulfate solution consists of copper ions and sulfate ions dissolved in solution. During the electrolysis of copper sulfate solution, the sulfate ions are attracted to the positive electrode and the copper ions are attracted to the negative electrode where they form a coating around the negative electrode. So pure copper forms a coating on the cathode. We have finally extracted the copper from the original copper ore, malachite. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Here we have a beaker containing copper sulfate solution. If we place this iron nail inside the copper sulfate solution, which contains copper ions and sulfate ions which are free to move, then because this iron is more reactive than copper, the iron will displace the copper from the copper sulfate solution and the copper will form a coating on the outside of the iron nail. This removes the copper ions from the solution and instead we now have iron ions dissolved in the solution having formed iron sulfate. So because iron is more reactive than copper, iron displaces the copper where there is now a pure copper coating on the outside of the iron nail. Again this is a second way of extracting the copper from the copper sulfate solution. 
the word equation for this chemical reaction is iron plus copper 2 sulfate reacts to form iron 2 sulfate and copper. For the ionic equation, we can see we start off with iron atoms in the iron nail. So we write Fe, S for solid. And we can see how the sulfate ions remain unchanged. They're spectator ions, so we ignore them. The copper 2 plus ions are involved in the chemical reaction. So then we write Cu2 plus, Aq for aqueous. They react to form Fe2 plus ions, Aq for aqueous. And we can see how there is now a copper coating on the outside of the iron nail. So we write Cu. S for solid. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.